Palawan President Saranga Whips Jr. says his country will stick by Taiwan even if it's the last ally standing. In an interview with AFP, Whip said he was no stranger to Chinese intimidation, but that Palau would not be bullied into ending its friendship with Taiwan. Sunny skies and sandy beaches. Bring out your bikini and enjoy a dreamlike day at this tropical wonderland. For Taiwanese, traveling here is possible thanks to a newly inaugurated travel bubble. Palau's president even visited Taiwan last week to signal friendship between the two nations. In an interview right after leaving Taiwan, Whip said China had tried to thwart the alliance. Uh, I mean, I've had meetings with them, and the first thing they said to me before on, on a phone call was, uh, what you're doing is illegal. Recognizing Taiwan is illegal. Uh, you need to stop it. You know, that's the tone they use. In an interview with AFP, the president said Whips had warned him recognizing Taiwan was illegal. Whips said that during Palau's presidential elections, he received at least 16 calls from China, which tried to put pressure on him. Despite China's intimidation tactics, the president held fast to his position. In the interview, Whips said that, as a free country, Taiwan was an ally worth sticking with. We're a free and democratic country. We have a right to choose what we believe, and we believe in freedom and democracy, and it's just a different approach. If we were the last man standing, uh, we should be, because Taiwan has been with us from the beginning. Even with China putting on the pressure, Palau has refused to bend. The island has maintained official relations with Taiwan for 22 years. It sent a president to visit, and it's worked with Taiwan to create a first-of-its-kind travel bubble. Whip said the two like-minded nations would be allies to the end.